Tesla. I am sure you've heard all about it in the last week or so. It's been all over the news, going up and down. In this video, I'm not going to tell you whether to buy or sell or hold because I just don't believe in giving investing advice for individual stocks. But what I do want to do is focus on the investing lessons that we can take away from what happened last week. And of course, I love Warren Buffett, as you know, and I'm going to incorporate some of his quotes and investing principles into studying what exactly happened last week. Hi, my name is Erica. I'm a lawyer and this channel is all about personal finance. And what happened last week really excites me because it shows you exactly what will happen when human emotion and the fear of missing out gets intermingled with investing. What I really want to highlight here with this Tesla video is just how extreme the price action was. There are obviously plenty of reasons for why this happened, but I think generally this comes down to extreme FOMO, the fear of missing out, and just emotionally driven investing to levels that we haven't seen in quite some time. But just to give you a little history lesson, we have seen this before. First, let's take it back to the tech bubble of the late 90s, early 2000s. At that time, basically any stock with a dot com in its name would go up many, many times over simply because it sounded like it had something to do with IT and people just didn't want to miss out on that opportunity. Same thing with cryptocurrencies. We saw it happen in 2010 and we saw it happen again in 2017. I'm sure you remember this, but in 2017, the hype surrounding cryptocurrencies was so crazy, just on a different level, that people were even willing to remortgage their houses just to have money to reinvest back into cryptocurrencies, all because no one wanted to miss out on this promise of quick profits. We saw a smaller scale version of this with the Tesla stock last week. There are tons of data points that suggest that retail investors were buying Tesla stock for the very first time last week at prices over $700 to make a quick buck. But the point is all of this, the tech bubble, cryptocurrencies, Tesla last week, all of this is primarily driven by the fear of missing out. People don't want to see their neighbors making tons of profit and feel like they're missing out on that opportunity because everyone wants to get rich quick, right? And trust me, I get it, I understand this fear. I have to confess, like last week when I was getting all these notifications on my phone from Robinhood and Weeble saying, Tesla going up 10%, Tesla going up 15%, it was really tempting. Like I felt the fear of missing out and even though I generally don't believe in picking single stocks, I'm an index fund investor, proud and true. Those, those moments where I was getting those notifications on my phone, I started to question that. I was thinking like, maybe I am missing out. Like maybe this is some big opportunity and I just need to jump in on the action. I didn't, but that's just to tell you that I understand this fear of missing out and emotionally driven investing. I mean, if you think about it, our society and many business models are based upon creating this hype and this fear of missing out. But what I want to do here is I want to say that we as rational investors need to take a few steps back and really rationalize this so that we're not just jumping headfirst into the hype and jumping into investing decisions that we might later come to the conclusion were big mistakes. I know it's easier said than done because humans, we are emotional and sometimes we succumb to our vulnerabilities and let that fear of missing out take over. So we see tons of investors pouring money into Tesla right now because they all see this potential to get rich quick and who would want to miss out on that? So as you know, I really admire Warren Buffett as an investor and as I was thinking about what happened last week with Tesla, I was really trying to think, well, what would Warren Buffett do? What would Warren Buffett say about this? So I went back digging into some of his shareholders letters that he's written in the past and found two brilliant pieces of investing advice that I think apply so nicely to what we saw last week. So the first is, he said, you don't need to be an expert in order to achieve satisfactory investment returns. But if you aren't, you must recognize your limitations and follow a course certain to work reasonably well. Keep things simple and don't swing for the fences. When promised quick profits, respond with a quick no. I think this is so good because getting rich quick is the biggest lie in investing. 
And another one I really like is owners of stocks too often let the often irrational behavior of their fellow owners cause them to behave irrationally as well. Because there is so much chatter about the markets, the economy, interest rates, price behavior of stocks, etc., some investors believe it's important to listen to pundits, and worse yet, important to consider acting upon their comments. What he's saying here is you have to tune out the hype. Just because others are behaving irrationally doesn't mean that you should be too. You just don't want to be riding that wave because the worst thing you can do is come into the market at the top of that bubble. And that's why it's really important to have independent thought and knowledge. Don't be so influenced by what others are doing, especially when they're behaving emotionally and irrationally. You really have to have your own independent approach to investing that cancels out that noise. The best investors, of course, are the ones that are able to find those opportunities before they get hyped up. They're the ones that identify their opportunity a month, two months, a year before everyone else does. Because the truth is, when everyone else identifies that opportunity, it's probably too late. So I'm sure you're curious about what Warren Buffett has to say about the Tesla stock. And a few nights ago, he had dinner with an entrepreneur who paid $4.5 million for the pleasure of having dinner with him. And apparently at this dinner, Warren Buffett said about Tesla that he thinks while Elon Musk is a great entrepreneur, he does not think Tesla is a great investment because the automobile industry has fierce competition and all of Tesla's competitors have large cash reserves and won't quit. If you want two free stocks valued up to $1,400, then you can sign up for Webull using my link below. And if you want to learn more about investing, you should watch this video on how to become a millionaire from $150 a month or my investing playlist that has all of my investing videos in it.